Hello everyone. Today, I'd like to invite you to follow along as I build a small irrigation dam by hand to channel water into my rice field. This is an effective and practical method to retain water for farming during the dry season and to regulate water levels in the field during the rainy season. First, I choose a suitable spot along a small canal that carries water from an upstream spring to the fields. The water here flows all year round and has a stable volume, making it ideal for building a small dam. I'll make use of materials readily available around the area, like soil, stones, bamboo stakes, and sandbags to build a dam's body. I start by clearing the canal bed, removing trash, branches, and large stones to create a flat surface for laying the dam. Then, I drive bamboo stakes deep into both sides of the canal to form a frame that holds soil and stones in place. The stakes are driven about 40 to 50 centimeters deep to ensure they stay firm and can withstand water pressure during heavy rain. Next, I bring in the sandbags I've prepared in advance and stack them layer by layer, forming a curved shape or an inverted V so the water is funneled toward the middle and directed through a spillway that I've designed. Each layer of sandbags is arranged in a staggered pattern alternating with large stones and compacted soil to increase strength and prevent water from seeping through the dam body. At the center of the dam, I design a small spillway using either a 90 millimeter PVC pipe or a bamboo chute to lead some of the water into the rice field. The height of the spillway is carefully adjusted so that when the water level rises, water will automatically flow into the field and when the water is low, it will be retained in the canal for other purposes. While building the dam, I also reinforce the two banks with bamboo stakes and stones to prevent erosion during floods or sudden high water. Once the dam structure is in place, I use clay or wet soil to seal the gaps between the sandbags and stones, improving water retention and minimizing leaks through the dam body. After completing the construction, I clean up the surrounding area, gather leftover materials, and secure the water pipes or bamboo shoots leading to the field. I also check the downstream canal to ensure there's no blockage from soil or debris. This small dam model can be used for many seasons. It only needs a bit of maintenance and reinforcement once or twice a year after heavy lanes. The benefits are clear. It allows farmers to actively manage water sources for their rice fields and vegetable gardens during dry seasons, regulate water flow in rainy seasons, and retain nutrient-rich silt for the fields, improving soil fertility. Not only does it serve my family's rice field, but this small irrigation system also helps nearby households by supplying water for their crops. If needed, I can easily expand the water channels to neighboring fields by simply repositioning sandbags or spillways, flexible, practical, and inexpensive. This is a simple, traditional, yet highly effective method, well suited to the natural conditions of rural areas and mountainous villages where electricity is scarce and large-scale irrigation infrastructure is not available. With a little effort and creativity, anyone can actively secure a reliable water source for sustainable farming. If you find this model useful, I encourage you to give it a try and share it with others. In upcoming videos, I'll continue to introduce ways to build small field embankments, natural water channels, and even water-powered pumps that work without electricity. Thank you for watching, and I wish you a bountiful harvest and healthy green fields all year round.